Road to GH will reveal that after many years apart, Lucky returns from Africa with new experiences and a more mature spirit. However, upon setting foot back in Port Charles, he quickly realizes that life here has changed more than he imagined. The thing that surprises Lucky the most is his son Aiden's growth. It had been a long time since he last saw his son, and now Aiden is no longer the small boy he remembered. Aiden has grown both physically and mentally, and this deeply moves Lucky. Lucky feels that he has missed many important moments in his son's life, key milestones in Aiden's growth that he wasn't there to witness. This realization fills Lucky with both pride and a sense of unease as he becomes aware of the distance between them. Although his life in Africa had brought him many values and lessons, facing Aiden's maturity makes him regret not being there for those crucial years. What saddens Lucky even more upon his return is the possibility that he cannot donate his liver to save Lulu, his beloved sister. Despite coming back after years of being apart, hoping to help the family during this difficult time, the test results show that he is not a match to be Lulu's donor. This disappointment throws Lucky into a whirlwind of emotions, as he feels not only powerless but also useless within his own family. Haunted by past mistakes and losses, Lucky's mind becomes increasingly troubled. Images of the times he neglected his responsibilities to his loved ones, especially his son and family, begin to weigh heavily on him. Regret and a sense of unworthiness rise within him, causing Lucky to lose confidence in himself. He fears that if he stays, he will continue to hurt the people he loves. Inwardly, Lucky had considered running away once again, but this time, the escape he contemplated was through suicide. The idea of leaving everything behind and returning to a solitary life in some distant place crept into his thoughts. He felt that staying would only amplify the pain of the past and present, and he wasn't strong enough to face it. However, this also pushed Lucky into an intense internal struggle. He knew that running away would only make things worse, but the feeling of helplessness and fear of failure made it hard for him to find a way out. Liz, with her unwavering love and dedication, remained Lucky's steadfast support during his darkest moments. Despite the ups and downs in their relationship, Liz deeply understood the pressures and fears Lucky was grappling with. She knew the pain he was carrying, not just from being unable to help Lulu, but also from the ghosts of the past that continued to haunt him. Seeing Lucky becoming more withdrawn and isolated, Liz refused to let him face this inner battle alone. With all the care and tenderness she could offer, she tended to Lucky, listening to his worries and fears. She stood by his side, not pushing him to open up, but instead creating a safe space where he could share when he was ready. Liz not only took care of Lucky physically, but also provided emotional comfort through gentle words of encouragement. She reminded him that, no matter what happened, he was still a father, a husband, and a cherished brother in the family. Liz believed that Lucky had the strength to overcome these challenges, and she assured him that she would be there with him, facing whatever obstacles came their way. The love and patience Liz offered brought Lucky the solace he so desperately needed. Though there were still many challenges ahead, Liz's presence helped him feel less alone in his internal struggle. Her heartfelt words and support gave him the strength to slowly regain his confidence and determination to keep fighting for his family. Thanks to Liz's love and encouragement, Lucky gradually abandoned his dark thoughts of suicide. At first, the weight of past and present traumas had made him feel trapped, as though there was no escape. But Liz's patient and understanding presence helped him realize that he couldn't continue to abandon those who loved him. Lucky understood that his, led, his life wasn't defined by past mistakes, but rather by the opportunities to make amends and care for his family. He couldn't turn his back on Liz, who had always been by his side, or on Aiden, his son, who had grown up while he missed so many important moments. Now, Lucky realized that his life held many things worth fighting for, and he had a responsibility to make up for the time he had been absent. With this newfound clarity, Lucky resolved to change. He recognized that self-pity and running away wouldn't lead to anything positive. Instead, he needed to confront reality and become a better figure in his family. 
not only for Lulu or to reciprocate Liz's love, but also to rebuild his relationship with Aiden and reconnect with those close to him. Everyone decided to stand together and fight for Liz's life. The danger she was facing wasn't just a physical challenge, but also an emotional test for everyone who loved her. The Spencer family, Lucky, Aiden, Dante, Laura, and their close friends, realized that this was not just Liz's battle, but a fight for the whole family. They understood that love and unity were the most powerful weapons during tough times. Despite the adversities and obstacles that seemed impossible to overcome, their family bond would never be broken. They had endured losses and heartbreaks, but those experiences only strengthened their connection. Lucky, with renewed determination and resolve, wouldn't abandon Liz as he had in the past. He had learned that the value of family surpassed any pain. Aiden, no longer the small boy he once was, had grown up and become a strong part of this fight. Laura, despite her constant worry, remained a courageous mother, willing to do whatever it took to protect her children. Nothing could defeat them when they stood together. They would fight with all their strength and love to bring Liz back to life. Whatever challenges awaited, the Spencer family knew that as long as they remained united, nothing could break them.